Over the past five years, the city of Allen has experienced rapid growth during its transformation into a premier destination in North Texas. And as the city's visitors and residents increase, so too does the need for improved public safety services. As a result of this growth and the foresight to create a strategic plan for technology, Allen has implemented a new Public Safety Computer-Aided Dispatch System, or CAD. The CAD is a system of hardware and software, vehicle locators, and integrated equipment which all allow the Public Safety Communications Center to receive emergency calls, pinpoint the location of the emergency, and then effectively send the appropriate resources to the scene. This plays a vital role in providing a timely response to any emergency. Every action taken within the system is logged. We can see who opened the call, who's read the call, who was recommended to respond to the call. We can even play back how the unit drove to the call, the route they took, the speed that they took. So that is a big change in how the system used to work. Allen 911, what's the address of your emergency? Whenever someone dials 911, the dispatcher answers the call and enters the emergency information into the CAD, which then determines the location of the incident and marks it on a digital map. The CAD itself is based entirely on accurate GIS data, so you have to have really good maps. In the end, what it means is that a call that comes in can be plotted on the map, the dispatcher can see it and then know who to send based on the location of the call. Concurrently, the CAD software uses automated vehicle locating technology, or AVL, to precisely detect and dispatch emergency vehicles. The officer's cars have automated locators in them and all the addresses have been geocoded. So the software, the computer-assisted software, actually calculates the closest officer. The AVL system also allows emergency responders to map their routes, along with providing turn-by-turn -turn voice directions. Turn back on South Bonham Drive. Response times are very critical in, in an emergency, say uh, in a fire. A fire will grow exponentially over time. So if we can shave off 30 seconds or a minute in our response, that may be the difference between just the couch being involved in a fire or the whole room or possibly a large portion of the house. So we're looking to save every second possible in the process, and the new CAD system allows us to do that in a number of ways. Additionally, if the location of the emergency is on or near US-75, Public safety personnel can take advantage of the Texas Department of Transportation's network of highway cameras to verify the incident with live video access. As soon as the location of the emergency is confirmed, police and fire personnel are dispatched according to predetermined response plans. The very first field on our call entry screen is the location because that's the most important thing we need to know. Allen 911, what's the address of your emergency? Okay. So they enter that first and when they tab off of that field, it goes through what we call a, a geo-validation process. It searches against the map to say, where are you? And then the dispatchers picks the location. Once they pick that, it plots the incident on a map, and then it's ready to be dispatched. The calls are then sent to their mobile data computers mounted in each of the responding emergency vehicles, which further reduces response times. Under the previous system, a person would receive the 911 call and they would be trying to do three things simultaneously and that would be talk to the caller, start alerting the fire stations and talk over the radio to the firefighters to tell them what was going on and where and then also flipping through flip charts trying to give pre-arrival instructions to the, the bystanders on how to help this person before we get there. Now because the system is automated as soon as key information is entered into the system by the dispatcher, it automatically sends that information and alerts the firefighters in the stations and starts that process happening sooner. All right, was anyone thrown from the vehicle? While units are on their way to the emergency, the dispatcher now has the ability to give specific life-saving instructions to the caller through the use of computer-assisted emergency medical dispatch protocols. What ProQA does is it takes those card sets and it makes them electronic, basically. And that does a couple of really good things for us. 
The electronic versions have the ability to enable or disable certain protocols based off of the answers that we input. So if I say it's a male caller, it's not going to have me ask questions about pregnancy. You know, it's, it's a little more intuitive and it'll change he to she based on the gender of the patient. Medic 2 and Engine 1, Injury Crash, North Central Expressway. Our new fire station alerting system was installed with fire station number 5. It receives a signal from the dispatch center at the fire station through the city's computer network. The new in-house fire station alerting system immediately notifies firefighters through tones and lights. The call information is then delivered by automated voice, printouts, and LED display boards at the station. It just helps alert them in a timely manner provides them a, a variety of methods uh, so that it, it ensures that it gets their attention through sounds and lights and other devices, passes that information to them very effectively, and helps speed their response to the emergency. As responding units approach the scene, they can see the other units on their digital maps, which allows for better positioning at the incident. With the mapping, they can quickly see where the calls are occurring, and if some officers need to move to another area that's not covered, we can, we can keep shifting our deployments and, and cover the city more effectively. Once they're positioned, the CAD continues to aid in the response by relaying important information to the incident commanders. Once the incident is under control and response vehicles are released, they are once again available to be dispatched to other emergencies through the CAD. 435, 643, major accident. Another advantage of the CAD is that all call information, including unit times, location, and key data accounts are transmitted to the records management system. This allows for reliable statistics, helps personnel complete their reports more efficiently, and assists administrators in analyzing workloads as well as trends in calls for service. The fire department is live on their new RMS system and these reports are available to fire administration today. Most of these computer-aided dispatch system capabilities occur simultaneously, which saves precious seconds and minutes. The whole integration from beginning to end, we're the first one in our area to have it at this level and have this many components come together. Uh, again, others have one portion or another but uh, we're very fortunate in Allen to, to have brought all these together in, in one system to speed a response along. This improved response time of Allen's public safety professionals allows us to provide the highest level of service to our citizens and further enhances the exceptional standard of living for which the city of Allen is known.